If you believe that antibodies are causing your autoimmunity, you've been so misled. What you have to know about antibodies is that antibodies aren't attacking you. They're actually saving you. When you have damage to your cell from a toxin or a parasite or a pathogen or a virus, your cell releases damage associated molecular patterns called damps. Damps are essentially things that tell parts of the what's called inflammasome of the cell, the thing that creates inflammation, where the inflammation is coming from and what to create. So for example, anti-nuclear antibodies. So a neutrophil releases an extracellular trap that has histones in it. That histone is a damp. If that histone attaches to another cell's receptors, damp receptor, that will cause that cell to release inflammatory mediators so they can all communicate. What antibodies are, are the body's cleanup system for those excess histones. So those neutrophils, they also release mitochondrial DNA or they'll re release their nucleus. You know, mitochondrial D DNA, anti-mitochondrial antibodies. Their nucleus, anti-nuclear antibodies. You know how many people have a high ANA after an infection? Well, that's a neutrophilic problem. So antibodies are not autoimmunity. Your adaptive immune system is not trying to attack you. Your system is under attack and those antibodies are the cleanup system. That's why you see people's antibodies lower once they get rid of their infection. See, antibodies act as obstinants. Obstinants are things the immune system uses to stick to what it needs to eat. Your innate immune system cleans up things through what's called phagocytosis, which is eating things. They can eat microbes or they could eat your own damage from your cells. Those antibodies act as obstinants. Your body, to clean up damps, releases antibodies. So the damage-associated molecular pattern binds to the antibody, and that pair is a electrostatic signal for a phagocyte, like a macrophage, to eat that up. Antibodies are just your cleanup system. You don't have autoimmunity. What the hell does autoimmunity even mean now?